Beautiful. Hi, good morning everyone. I decided, you know, what better way to share my life with you than to take you along my day. Obviously, first thing I do in the morning is I make coffee. So that's what, that's what we're in the kitchen for. Making a latte. I do two shots of espresso. So, start there and now, like the California gal I am, Oat milk. But typically I usually do the, um, what is it? They have like a barista blend and that's better for coffee, but I ran out. So we're not doing that today. Put it in my uh, my frother, because we're doing a warm latte today. And I just don't have time to make a cold one. That just seems like too much work. Then I take this vanilla sweetener. Got it from Whole Foods, it's all right. Um, put a little bit into the milk. That was a lot. I don't know what just came over my head to do that much, but yikes. Something I've been like finding myself doing these days because it kind of just puts me in a better headspace. And it's, it's hard, I'm gonna be honest, it's hard. But I try to wake up and not touch my phone for at least like the first 30 minutes to an hour so I can kind of prep for my day. I like to obviously get up, make coffee. I like to read a little bit. There we go. That is beautiful. Uh, yeah, I like to just mentally prepare what's going to happen for my day. So I read a little bit, I make my coffee, I eat breakfast if I'm hungry, and then that just kind of takes up like the first I guess like 45 to an hour of my day and then I try not to touch my phone. That is if I don't sleep in. Cause there are days where I sleep in till like 11. That's quite late, 11.30, noon sometimes. And I like immediately have to get straight to work. So I don't even have time to attempt to not look at my phone or else I'm being like berated by a million people I feel. That is extremely frothy. Now that I've made coffee, I'm gonna kind of wait for this froth to just like die down a little bit. That was intense. Um, I take my vitamins because I'm a healthy girl and my immune system is so strong. This video is of course sponsored by Care Of. I love them so, 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 so much. I'm always, always, always eager, ready, and willing to work with them because I use this every single day of my life. Um, it's just easier and compact. I am somebody who literally forgets to do a majority of things in my life like I can't even tell you how many days of birth control I missed last month that's a whole different story this makes my life a little bit easier because it's literally right next to my coffee and so after I'm done making it I just open it and I get started I, I take a little glass of water and I go crazy it also has a cute little note on it and it has a challenge go for a walk today and leave your phone at home what were we just talking about? I think it was listening to us. So these are all of my vitamins I take. I could not tell you which one is specifically which one. So I will leave it on the screen somewhere so you can know. Um, I'm a pro at this, you guys. I've literally been taking vitamins ever since I was a child. Atticus is getting into trouble. Like my cats act like I don't have food and water laid out for them. So he's drinking water from a cup in there anyway okay i'm gonna take my vitamins to get my day started <sighs> beautiful delicious i'm sure you already do but if you don't know anything about care of it is a vitamin subscription service but they basically tailor everything to you so it's not like you're just you know blindly going in and asking for vitamins you basically take a test that it asks you a million questions not actually it's very quick it's actually like probably going to take like three minutes out of your time at most and you basically answer all the questions and they tailor make a package for you that best fits your needs what best so my pack is going to be a lot different from your pack so if you want to check them out i have a link down below in the description and if you are a first time user you can use my code right here for 50 percent off your first order that is a steal. Anyway, guys, do you like my, do you like this robe? 
This robe was given to me on my birthday um, by Sam. Chateau Marmont. It's like every day I wake up at the Chateau Marmont. Isn't that right? It sure is. We, go, we wake up every day in our own little Chateau Marmont. Mm. So I actually just finished the book that I was reading. So now I have to choose a new book to read. But the last book I read was a bit heavy, I will say. I, it was very existential, very dark, kind of made me feel certain ways about life. And it was definitely affecting my own train of thought. I'm thinking... I really, really, really want to read A Little Life. I've heard nothing but wonderful things about it, but of course I also heard that it is quite sad and I don't know if I'm in the headspace for that. So I think I'm gonna start this right here. I'm gonna start the Fran Lebowitz Reader. Um, if you don't know who Fran Lebowitz is, well, the Washington Post says that she is the funniest woman in America. And if you find that hard to believe, don't just saying so my preferred spot of reading is of course on my couch okay i read for about 30 minutes which is honestly a bit longer than usual for my mornings i really only just typically read like 10 pages in the morning um just so i can like get my day started but it was it was really good and i really liked it so so far 10 out of 10 um big fan love love that girl so now i am I have to work and listen thankfully today i don't have to really shoot any content you know this past two weeks have been kind of insane with fashion week and as you all know it's been a virtual fashion week usually fashion week is already stressful enough as it is i i do remember like my first fashion week that i've ever been to i was so wildly insecure and that was mostly because i had felt like it, everything was like a competition and it felt like high school it felt like very clicky and i just had a very wrong impression of it and i think also I'm at the space or I'm at the place now where I know enough people kind of in that world so it doesn't feel as scary um but that's kind of besides the point the point I'm getting at is is that virtual fashion week is much 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 more different um obviously everything's at home and and everyone has access to watch the shows which is amazing and you don't have to like literally stress yourself out fucking get half ready and run out the door and hope that you make it somewhere on time but the brands that i i have worked with um actually every single every single brand i worked with during virtual fashion week everything is kind of pretty like last minute and i'm sure it's because they're working with so many other people so they're just trying to get things out all at once and so you basically have like a 24 hour turnaround time to get the clothes that um they're lending to you and you know shoot in it post it and then also that comes with like i am somebody who does all of my work um for the most part every photo that you see like on my instagram i shot i came up with the creative direction i edited it like everything like you're just kind of like the boss for it all and so you kind of run out of concepts and you're tired and you're worn out so anyway i'm kind of glad that i don't have that much to do this week in terms of shooting content or any of that because i kind of feel a little worn out i just want to sit here respond to emails and be the business girl <sighs> thank you for letting me rant okay you know what i'm following trends here and i'm seeing that i'm at starbucks right now everyone's talking about this brown sugar shaken espresso oat milk moment so we're gonna figure this out we're gonna see how this is um it is so hot in my car i could cry i don't have ac in this car so today plans are just we're impromptu planning right now um i have a dream lamp well it's one of my dream lamps one of my many dream lamps and it's usually like i hate also i hate vlogging like kind of in public because people can see me and that's just a conversation i'm not ready to have so i found one 
that somebody's selling in San Francisco. It's authentic, which is a steal. I know that sounds crazy. It's a five hour drive there to pick up this lamp. Enya is so kind in letting me borrow her car because I have a two seater with very little back storage. Oh shit. Okay. I'm scared. Ah! Thank you. You're welcome. Have a great day. Yeah, you too. Thank you. Okay. Weird angle, but that's fine. I'm parked and I'm going to try this. Girl, whoever made this put their whole back into it. You know when you eat something or drink something for the first time and it's so fucking good. Um, and that part of your brain is like, yup, this is gonna be the thing that we're going to obsess over for the next two to three weeks before you, you know, get tired of it and you can't even think to put it near your mouth again. This is gonna be one of those things for me. I'm going to be in that Starbucks line almost daily for this. Oh my God, I keep burping. In a weird way, this kind of does taste like Phil's ginger snap iced coffee. Hmm. Somebody has some explaining to do. So I feel like I was just kind of all over the place when I was trying to explain this earlier. I am going to San Francisco tonight to go pick up a lamp off of Craigslist. But because that sounds terrifying, I am making Drew come with me and we'll probably get there at night. I'm not picking it up till like tomorrow. That means we'll just have like a little night in San Francisco to ourselves. I'll get the lamp the next day and we'll be back on our way to LA. A little impromptu trip because I have interior issues where I need everything that my heart desires. And I will go to the ends of the earth to find it for cheaper than what it is actually worth. Oh. As I'm packing, I want to show you guys a few records I recently got. Um, I got Fiona Apple's title. Hello. So good. If you haven't already listened to this album, like, get out from under the rock you're living in. Um, I got Life Without Buildings, Any Other City. Love it. And then I got The Antlers, Familiars on vinyl as well so so good i actually recommend everyone listening to it anyway i'm gonna finish packing and then i'm gonna go get drew and i'll see you guys later girl it is 4 30 and we, we've decided to drive to san fran now um <laughs> like peak traffic hour we have to eat before we go so what better way to put healthy stuff into our bodies and to go to popeyes you not know? enough people talk about this Why do I feel like it's everywhere? <laughs> He's literally omnipresent. I have never had a um, chicken sandwich from Popeyes. Lit do you not remember the craze? I do. Precisely why I've never had one. Uh, this is delicious. I wish I would have asked for extra pickles. Uh, like our luck, somebody would just come and rear end the shit out of us just sitting here. <laughs> That's what I was thinking. <laughs> we bring Enya her car back and we're like, driving it in like the Flintstones. <laughs> it doesn't work. <laughs> For the record, I've wrecked her car. I don't know why she still trusts me. <laughs> Are you crying? Are your fucking glasses? You're crying for real. <laughs> Are you okay? <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> like a, a Flintstone joke. Still. <laughs> it was not that funny, but like, imagine like, <laughs> it's just being beat the f*** up. Like, <laughs> and we're like sprawling at the bottom. We're like, thanks for letting us borrow your car. I got the lamp. It's in perfect condition. <laughs> oh my god. I literally have not laughed that hard in so long. <laughs> This is how we're bringing back the car home to India. Yeah. <laughs> this is what I was thinking of when, when I was laughing so hard. <laughs> like uh, we are an hour and a half outside of San Fran. We stopped at a gas station. I love Lerves, and I got Orion a little gift. I'm scared. Open your hand. <gasps> ah! I literally said I wanted that so sweet. 
sweet bay. Oh my god, are you proposing to me? And then I also got three of these little things. Oh, bay, thank you. Oh, yeah. I'm a f***ing freak. So I got a little li glass lizard. I'm literally so happy. Wait. Then I got a little dolphin. A little dolphin, can it? We be like beauty, beauty gurus. Girl. Oh, there she goes. Then I got a cute little total. There she is. And there's my $70 haul from... No, you didn't. Yeah. No. <laughs> Me being like, it's so cheap in these things. It is incredible. Well, each of those were like, those little glass animals were like 20 bucks. So. I am so happy. beautiful day it's a beautiful day the lamp has been retrieved you can't see it because we're protecting her but she's here she's so beautiful we'll show you when we get home she came out as bisexual whoa yeah um mm -mm -mm. <sighs> okay i am back home it is like nearly 11 p.m. and I'm so exhausted, but she's here in all of her beauty in my room and I'm so stoked about it. It's so gorgeous. It is the Dunia Terra Floor Lamp by Mario Barboglia and Marco Colombo and it's from the 1970s. I'll turn the light off. I mean, the camera does not do it any justice, but there she is. I love her. You were so worth the five hours, five and a half hours there and five and a half hours back. The things I do, the things I do for interior design, you guys. Also, I had to put my glasses on in the middle of driving because my contacts were completely screwing up in my eyes. And I look like such a dork with these glasses. Um, my prescription is so bad. I am so blind that with my glasses on, it just makes my eyes appear smaller. So that's always fun. I'm gonna shower. I'm gonna take the deepest rest of my entire life. And thank you guys for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Mwah.